Hey guys, how's it going here? It's Doug with Lonnie Childress here. We're doing another Trigger King Tech video. We've been trying to do a bunch of these to show you guys what we're actually running. And Lonnie, I'll let you kind of take it away. This is a brand new truck that's debuting today. This really cool Auto Value King Crunch Replica Outlaw. And uh, Lonnie, I guess you want to talk about it. You did the body work on it. Yeah, so um, we uh, we got the uh, body from J Concepts. Obviously, the tribute wheels and Firestorm tires, which uh, we're hoping to switch out for the Gold Years when we get another set. Um, you know, obviously. King Crunch. They right might now. be out. Gold Years might be out by the time you watch this video. Just they might be. When yeah. we're filming, but right. yes, we're still we're waiting on them to come out. That'll look great with those, like the real truck. Yeah, exactly. Uh, nice blue. What did you use for this blue? I'm just curious. Uh, just Tamaya rattle can stuff. Okay. Honestly, uh, the blue and, and the gold just came from Tamaya. It's uh, my favorite rattle can. Tamaya <laughs> rattle can stuff is awesome. Yeah, Generally exactly. Great polycarb paint. Uh, well, I guess on this, then you want to talk about the truck. It looks like a sick and me. Yeah, it's a sick and me. Uh, I believe it's a one inch stretch chassis, um, stock clawed rear ends. Uh, we're using the uh, Savox uh, servos on both ends. Oh, um, four, so, this is a four wheel steer, yeah. It's a four wheel steer. Uh, we have a, a three channel radio, so we have the option to shut the rear steering off and limit the rear steering, which is a big plus. Uh, you know, anytime you start going a little bit fast with these things, that rear steering really kind of yeah. whips you around. So you, Really dial the rear steering back. You're just looking for just a little bit extra rear to get to get the thing to turn a little bit. When well, talking about this too with the tires, no foams in here. So you want to explain that? Basically, um, when we started off, uh, we didn't run foams years ago, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, when with we clawed started, tires, you mean? Yeah, with clawed tires, tires. Yeah. and then and then we started getting into suspension where we were actually you know with cantilevers and stuff and mm -hmm. making the things work. So then we started adding foam to make the suspension work more than the tire. Um, when we first got back into the to the uh, retros, we used foam and found out that again we needed to go away from it. Even with a better shock on the truck, it still bounced too much. So we still need to um, just use the tire uh, to help with suspension. Yeah, so basically. that's where the theory here is the truck. That's the suspension. Basically, it's helping suspension out. And uh, speaking of that, this one's got a nice plush suspension, or at least by you know comparison sake for a retro truck it does what kind of shocks are these so they're traxxas um you you get i don't even remember what they come off of but it's a it's like an eight pack that we buy uh so you can do two trucks when you buy one pack and then they're easily tunable with these little uh yeah, these little clips snap on clips that help you with the spring rate these look like uh like one tenth scale like stampede style shocks i believe that's what they are versus yeah. the bigger bore yeah i believe that's the actually bigger one so yes. Uh, XL5 here, Traxxas ESC. You can wire these with two motors. A lot of guys are doing that. They don't rate, I think, for it or advertise necessarily, but that's what they've. You can do it. You can do it. A lot of guys are doing it. So, yeah, especially with the just the 27 turn motors, we're not pulling a lot of. Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah, I should say that if you if you use a low turn motor like that or a high turn, I'm sorry, you, you can't get away with it. You won't. You know, don't do that with a lower turn. You will smoke the ESC pretty quick, I imagine. So well, we got the old school truck here. So let's move down. Right, and then I'd like to give a shout oh, yeah. out too, as far as the decal package came from uh, MCI Racing. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. that's where you got it from. Yep. Yeah. He does a lot of old school monster truck. Yeah, he's, good, he's got some pretty cool uh, decal packages out well, there. Good paint job looks great. I like a good simple paint job. It's like paint the real truck, <laughs> like the real King Crunch was, or at least that version. He had a bunch of paint jobs right. on it. But so then we got the old truck. Here's the new one here. And uh, I actually just saw this for the first time here. And uh, this mutant truck, I guess you want to explain, you know, about this, what it is? Um, this truck has been a long time in the making. I actually got this chassis through Bari Musauer. Um, it's a KK2, um, which unfortunately are no longer, uh, they're no longer building them. Um, <clears throat> but I've been collecting parts for it and kind of tinkering with it for a long time. We got the freestyle axles and freestyle transmission. Oh yeah, it's super heavy duty here. Yeah, really heavy duty. I was, uh, in, in the pro mod stuff, I was really tired of tearing up clawed gears and breaking plastic. And so I said, you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go all out and see what happens. Um, haven't run it yet. I did just a little tiny bit of testing at, at home, um, so I'm anxious to get it out there and see what happens. Uh, we're running the King shocks. I love these shocks. They're super, super smooth, and with the uh, with the two coil springs on here, they actually have two coil springs with a slider. You can actually change, um, put a heavy and a light spring on there if you need to. But they're just they're so smooth and work really well. Feels um, smooth. The the, uh, the shock here without the spring on it, I've, I've just dummied it. It's just got a little bit of oil in it just to uh, let it let it move. But uh, it looks great though. I mean, it looks it, like a. I, I really wanted like a scale real. looking truck. 
uh, I think we pretty well accomplished that. Yeah. And then um, shout out to uh, Fred Reap with J Concepts. He made this uh, killer mutant super soda body for me out of their new um, F-150 body. And then he dyed uh, a set of tributes and, and we put some uh, renegades on there. <clears throat> yeah, it looks great. I mean, it looks like the real looks like the real truck. And I, I don't know, I don't think we've ever talked about this body on camera that this is the 08, correct? Yes, sir. You can make your own wheel base. That's that's the, the thing with it. It doesn't come with wheel wells, so you can make yeah, your own wheel Yeah, there's no there's no fender flares on either end mm -hmm. of the vehicle, so you can put your wheel opening wherever you want. It's really super cool. Where, do you know where this truck is sitting at wheelbase wise? It looks like I want to say around 12 and a half. It looks I, like. I think that's that's about where it's at. Yeah. Well, looks really really nice, and uh, I guess we'll see very shortly here how this truck works. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Lon, thank uh, you. for stopping by. They have a bunch of trucks. You're gonna see some of the children's trucks. Uh, Jason, his brother also, um, they've got a ton of trucks they run. So you'll be seeing a bunch of them throughout the season here. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Lonnie, and we will see you next time.